Hello everyone, I'm Seng Kim in the Guide Wave Analysis LLC. Today, I would like to talk about the comparison of Guide Wave UT and the PAUT reports. In this video, presented are reports of Guide Wave Ultrasonic Testing, GWUT, and Phase Ray Ultrasonic Testing, PAUT, with several field testing examples. Both reports are prepared for announcing problems in the current GuideWave UT report and solving them with a detailed UT image plot. Our problems in the GuideWave reports are first, on hiding UT signal with a one-page data plot for long x-axis distance. Second, plotting data on the deck curve or log scale for reducing signal amplitude in y-axis. Third, including no detailed UT image plot for indication and important reasons. Fourth, mixing visual testing and UT testing result without identifying them. All these problems will be solved if client request including detailed UT image of indication and important reason in the report. This is a schematic drawing and a detailed UT image of GuideWeb UT and the PAUT. The GuideWeb UT uses a T01 mode as several different center frequencies for inspecting a long length of a pipeline. The T01 mode in pipeline is the same to shear wave in bulk material in the viewpoint of wave propagation properties and their interaction to defect. The PAUT weld inspection scans the probe along pipe circumference and sweeps ultrasonic beam across a range of angles for accessing different locations of the weld. The GuideWave UT and the PAUT have uh, several similar properties of being advanced NDT method using ultrasonic shear wave for field testing, covering large area with lots of data, using equipment having time-corrected gain TCG function and reporting detailed UT image with a defect size estimate. This is one field testing example using both GuideWave UT and PAUT for inspecting 4 MPS steel pipeline in 2016. The GuideWave UT found one defect at 1.5% reflection at 7.6 meter from the GuideWay probe as a screening tool. The PAUT used the verified GuideWay UT findings and measured the size of indication, but the GuideWay UT did not plot the detailed UT image of the indication location in 2016. Therefore, PAUT took more time to scan wide regions along pipe axis to find the indication. This example shows the importance of plotting the detailed UT image in GuideWave UT report. If GuideWave UT plots the detailed UT image of this indication or region, those plots help finding the exact location of indication and give more confidence in follow-up PAUT inspection. For explaining the importance of the detailed UT image, let me introduce the PAUT report. Uh, this slide shows a PAUT result of a weld of 660mm OD and 19.1mm wall steel pipeline. Total circumferential length is 2080mm. Please look at carefully each location along pipe circumference. Can you find any defect signal in this plot? We cannot find it in this plot because the poor spatial resolution of a 2080mm long x-axis distance. This plot simply proves that whole pipe circumference is scanned. This plot does not prove the proper inspection of a well because the data do not show the detailed UT image of each indication and important region. For proving the proper inspection and the defect finding, the local area with the yellow dotted line was selected and plotted. Uh, this shows the local PAUT result between 1800 and 2050 mm. The top left plot shows a three-dimensional plot with a beam angle for y-axis in the sectorial scan. 
the bottom left plus sedimentary plus with the depth from the top surface of a well the four y axis. In local data plot, one defect in 1910 mm was selected using a cursor. The defect was plotted in the sectorial scan and the video data at one selected angle. The S scan visually shows the defect location in the weld drone in the dotted weld overlay. The TCG video data at 60 degree shows the signal to noise ratio and the spatial resolution of detected defect signal. These detailed UT data plot prove the defect type of linear surface indication and their location, length, depth, and height, and prove the finding. This is another example of a PAUT indication. It is artificial defect of a lag of fusion in a weld of a pipeline. With the detailed UT image, the defect location along pipe circumference and its size was estimated. These detailed UT image shows that the merit of a PAUT inspection of scanning the probe along pipe circumference and sweeping ultrasonic beam a range of angle for accessing different locations of a weld. The PAUT finds the defect location and measures the size using these methods. The visualization of the detailed UT image allows us to complete the PAUT inspection of a weld with confidence. Let's show how to complete the guided UT report of pipeline with the detailed UT plots using Jim version 6 software. This slide shows the guide wave UT result of a 4.5 inch OD 0.337 inch wall pipeline. This 170 feet long pipeline was inspected using one magnetic MSS guide wave probe installed at 64 feet from one flange. TCG video data were plotted with the data acquired at 32, 64, and 128 kHz center frequencies. With the amplified view in y-axis, a 14 artificial defect was shown and marked with a D1 to D14 so with a red colored font after data analysis. However, this plot does not prove the proper inspection of a pipeline without showing detailed UT image of each indication and important region. To show video data of a local region, the data were cut for green dotted area and plotted with the amplified y-axis scales. Four defect and one bounded iron cobalt strips shown in the TCG video data plot. Let us plot the detailed UT image for this region. This slide shows the detailed UT image of selected region. The detailed UT images of guideway UT include the TCG plot and the video data, rectified RF data, and the spectrogram plot. The video data were plotted with a magenta color. The rectified RF were plotted with a blue color. The spectrogram data were plotted in three-dimensional color plot of a green, blue, red sequence for signal amplitude with a red color of the highest amplitude. The X and the Y axis of a spectrum plot are distance and the frequency, respectively. All five signals marked with the video data plot was shown in the vertical red lines in the spectrogram plot. The vertical line in the spectrogram plot proves that the received signal is a non-dispersive T01 mode. The confirmation of the wave mode of the each signal gives more confidence of those findings. Photographs of four defect and one bonded iron cover strip are shown for comparing them with the signals. The percent reflection coefficient of each defect was calculated after amplitude and attenuation calibration using welds. This is a detailed UT image of D6, a notch defect of a pipeline. The defect was a 2.5% reflection coefficient. It estimated that defect size is a 2.5% cross-sectional area. 
The percentage cross-section area of defect is approximately the same to the maximum percentage deflection coefficient in the data acquired using several probes of different center frequencies. The 128 kHz is the highest amplitude because the short wavelength signal is reflected well with a narrow axial length of notch defect. The detailed UT image of a video and the rectified RF data shows both signal and the noise amplitude and the calculated the signal to noise ratio at each frequency. The spectrum plot confirms the wave mode of D6. The solid yellow line shows the frequency spectrum of a selected signal. The comprehensive the detailed UT image plot of a video rectified RF spectrogram and the frequency spectrum visualize the defect signal and the reduced false scores. The visualization with the detailed UT images increases the probability of defect detection POD together with the operation of multiple center frequencies. This is a detailed UT image of a corrosion type defect or pipeline. 1.1% defect was detected from 50 feet from the MSS probe. The detailed UT image of 3 center frequency data proves the findings even though the signal to noise ratio is relatively low for small indication at a long distance. The frequency spectrum in the spectrogram plot was drawn with a solid yellow line and it confirms that it is a real indication. This is a detailed UT image of another notch defect of a pipeline in guide wave UT inspection. The 0.9% reflection defect was detected from 27 feet from the guide wave probe. The 128 kHz has the highest amplitude because the axial length of defect is the closest in the core wavelength of 128 kHz signal among 32, 64, and 128 kHz operation. The guide wave has a merit of using several probes in field testing such as 16, 32, 45, 64, 90, 128, 180, and 250 kHz center frequencies. By comparing the signal amplitude at different center frequencies, the guide wave estimated the axial length and the cross-section area of defect. The detailed UT images at different center frequencies confirm the findings and increase the probability of defect detection in guide wave UT method. This is a detailed UT image of one weld and one flange of a pipeline. The detailed UT image of a weld proved that no defect exists near the weld location. The flange signal shows the trailing signals due to complex geometry of the flange. The visualization with the detailed UT images of geometry feature will be used to monitor a defect initiation and growth near the geometry feature. If the pipeline is inspected again in the future and the detailed images are compared to each other. This is visualization comparison of guide wave UT and the PAUT signals. These detailed UT images prove what the inspector did during data analysis and reporting process. The PAUT inspector is a look at the weld signal at each small region along pipe circumference, plot the sectorial scan and check the detailed UT image at different angles for finding an indication. Reporting the detailed UT image of indication is sharing what they did during PAUT data analysis process. How about the guide wave UT inspection? The guide wave UT data analysis also includes looking at the signal at each small region along the long length of a pipeline, plotting each signal in the TCG data plot in the rectified RF, video, spectrogram, and the frequency spectrum, and checking signal to noise ratio, spatial resolution, and the wave mode finding an indication. Whether guide wave UT is performed with a main intersective or piezoelectric system, the checking of detailed UT images of each signal is the main part of the data analysis process. Then, 
The guide by UT should report the detailed UT image of each indication for proving what they did during guided web UT data analysis process. Let me conclude my presentation. First, the guided web UT and the PAUT have several similar properties of being advanced NDT method using ultrasonic shear wave covering large area with lots of data reporting data in TCG data plot, and reporting detailed ultrasonic image with a defect size estimate. Second, PAUT measure defect size with the merits of scanning the probe or long pipe circumference and sweeping ultrasonic beam. PAUT method was successful because it reports the detailed UT images to prove the findings. Third, Guided UT is used as a screening tool covering a large area. It estimates the actual length and the cross-sectional area of a defect with the merits of using several probes of different center frequencies. Fourth, the probability of defect detection POD of guided wave UT has significantly increased with the operation of multiple center frequencies and reporting comprehensive detailed UT image plots of video, rectified RF, spectrogram, and the frequency spectrum of the selected signal. Fifth, guided wave UT should report the detailed UT image of each indication and important region to prove the findings and to give confidence to clients. These detailed UT images automatically sort out UT findings from visual findings in the GuideWeb UT report. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please email me at skim at gwanalysis.com. Thank you. Bye.